Oh, hi, <laughs> it's me. And you're watching the post-apocalyptic after the chop. The good news is I survived. The bad news is one of these queens won't. So let's find out who won tonight and who went home in the chop at 7 p.m. at the River Chicago. Where should I sit? Uh, wherever. I mean. Oh, okay. Wait, no, not that one. Not that one. Oh. <gasps> sorry, oh sorry, God. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh I just met, God. I met this one's closer, that's all. Here we are with Mickey Mirage, who I did not get to see your performance tonight because I was late. But I've seen you perform last week yeah. and before, and I feel like that seems unjustified. Uh, but the part of the thing of this competition is it's based on audience votes. Absolutely. So you have to bring a lot of people. Yeah. Um, even the winner last last uh, season, Lola Madison, had been in the bottom a couple times. So yeah. it doesn't mean anything about you as a performer. So right. uh, what do you think? Like, how do you feel about your performance tonight? I feel like the judges' critiques were spot on. I think I oftentimes think about my looks before my performances. And then the performances speak about the looks. And I feel like I executed my look. Uh, everything I wanted to have happen, happened. But um, they, I don't think they were wrong. Um, but as you said, like this is a competition. Uh, it's hard, and that's why I did this, because it's a challenge. Like Bringing people to a bar every week is part of drag. You can yeah. look gorgeous. You can slay the house down. You can talk to everybody in the room. But if you don't bring anybody in the bar, that's part of your job, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, for me, it's a another humbling moment, as I'm sure to have many during this competition. Uh, and it's just a reminder that this is why I came here. I fought so hard during that lip sync for your life. It was so terrifying. And I am committed to not being in the bottom ever again. Totally. Yeah. That's actually the best kind of outlook to have. <laughs> and I feel like you're also looking at it from a realistic way of yeah. uh, anybody can end up in the bottom. It doesn't matter how sickening you are. Yeah. So you have to be able to bring right. that yeah. yes, your lip sync for your life. So At the end of the day, this the way that they structured this competition, it's even ground. Yeah, It's even ground. It doesn't matter how many uh, years you've had under your belt doing drag. It doesn't matter what kind of drag you do. It's fair. Everyone's up for the chop, bitch. That's yeah. why we're here, honey. <laughs> Dodging 100%. knives like, whoo. <laughs> By the way, I think your outfit and your hair, your makeup is stunning. Thank you so tonight. much. Yeah. I think it's a definitely like a different take on uh, post-apocalyptic. Yeah. It is. It gives me that, but yeah. I like the neon. Thank players. you. Yeah. Well, not everybody looks like shit in the apocalypse. Some of us make it work with what we got, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us have to make it. Um, okay, so <laughs> next week's theme is 80s and 90s. Does 80s anything 90s. pop into your head right away, or are you still kind of working it out? Well, I'm definitely going to start thinking about the performance first and worry about the look later, because the critiques that the judges gave me were that I needed to pay more attention to how my number told a story. So that's what I'm focusing on moving forward, and hopefully uh, it all comes together and I just slay it. All right, well, I think it will, and do you want to uh, say your social media handles? Yes, you can find me at uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and OnlyFans, as well as Pornhub at Mickey Mirage. <laughs> That's M-I-K-K-I-M-I-R-A-J. Okay, <laughs> see you there. Mickey Mirage. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting here with Mercy Mercury. Tell me how you feel about your performance tonight. Um, I feel like I did good. Um, I feel like I scraped up my knee real well, so that's yeah. always a good sign, you know? Yeah, one of my uh, first times when I had to do the lip sync for your life, I ripped through five brand new pairs of tights. So I, I feel your pain on this, but... This was just like one, and they're yeah. three years old, so like, <laughs> they're fine. Uh, you were safe tonight, right? Yes, yeah, safe. So, I mean, that's good. Safe is good. Based Especially on my, this early on in the competition. Yeah, and based on my critiques, I was happy to be safe. Um, they felt my look wasn't apocalyptic enough. Well, it's also kind of your interpretation of, of apocalyptic. I mean, yeah. it's sort of like, you know, who knows if after the apocalypse, aliens came and uh, everyone's now made of teddy bears. Right? I was just thinking, like, some trippy cult leader fantasy, like... She makes all of her subjects take three grams of acid a day, and she's just <laughs> living her best life. Yeah, totally. 
Um, okay, so next week's theme is going to be 80s and 90s. Do you have yes. any ideas that come to mind, or are you kind of working it out? Um, yeah, so, like, most of my music taste is, like, 90s rock, so, like, I'm really excited for this one, so just, like, keep Perfect. showing what I can do. But, yeah, I might also change it up just to gag the bitches, but yeah. you never know. That'd be good. Um, tell everyone your social media handles also. Um, it's Instagram is Mercy Mercury. That's M-E-R-C-Y, M-E-R... C U R Y, uh, no spaces. She no can spell. I barely. It took me like two months to figure that out. I was like, oh, it's just Mercy and then Mercy with a U R. Mm-hmm. I can get. I can do this. Yes. But yeah, and then Twitter is just Mercy Mercury sixty nine because Mercy Mercury was already taken. Sure. Well, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, best of so luck much. next week. I can't thank wait to see so what you bring. Uh, it's very different from last week. So I, I mean, next week is going to be a total shock. Thank Mercy you. Mercury, everyone. All right. I'm sitting here with Kenya Sanchez. Tell me how about how you feel about your performance tonight. I feel like I did phenomenal. Um, I'm very pleased with my performance. Um, and I'm, I didn't win. But I'm excited for the girls who did win because they fucking killed it tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, I think also there's something to the fact that you won last week, and if you keep winning every single, like you can't keep winning every single week, you gotta kind be on your radar too hard. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, yes. And also, I mean, I don't want to tell you this yet, but well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Whatever. Give me uh, this heat, the girl. judges just talked about you all night. So. Really? Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's it was awesome. a very different take on post-apocalyptic, and it was, but it was like clearly post-apocalyptic. You yeah, know? it was like you can't deny that it was. So, yeah, something yeah. different. I always want to be uh, a little different. I always want to step outside the box a little bit. Yeah, I always want to give me authentically, but I also want to give different variations of me because I don't want the judges to think I'm a one-trick pony. Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. great. Um, so, what do you think it was about your performance tonight, though, that like? Uh, was different than week one and also kept those judges talk, talking about you. I think tonight what I really did was I brought a story. Um, they asked for post-apocalypse. Probably didn't say that right. <laughs> but they asked for a story, so I really gave a story tonight. Um, and then I really danced tonight. I gave them a chance to really see who I am as a dancer. And um, some real heels, too. I saw and that. some, yeah, my yeah. feet hurt now. I got my shoes off. Ow, <laughs> my feet hurt. But it was fun, though. Like, it was amazing. Yeah. Great. Um, and then next week's challenge is 80s and 90s. Yes. So you have ideas already? I do got some ideas. Um, I'm an 89 baby. I was born at the end of the 80s. Mm-hmm. So I got a little taste in me. So I'm going to do something <laughs> really fun. Something really um, funky, fresh, um, impressive, and um, kick some ass. All right. I believe yeah. it. Can't wait to see it. Uh, tell everyone your uh, Instagram, yes. social media. It is Queen underscore Punta da Sanchez. That's Queen Punta da Sanchez. My Instagram uh, blowing up right now, so y'all go ahead and follow me. Okay, <laughs> I follow back too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenny Sanchez, everyone. <laughs> Here I am with Lemon Lacroix, who I actually did get to see perform tonight. It was hilarious. Uh, how Thank do you, you feel about your performance tonight? Um, I was super nervous because I was like, I wasn't sure if my mix was going to be read well or like if people were going to think it was funny, but I think the audience really liked it. So I'm pretty happy with what I did. Totally. Good. Um, So tell me about next week's challenge. It's going to be 80s and 90s. Do you have ideas already or are you kind of working it out still? Um, when I heard 80s and 90s, an idea popped in my mind right away, which I'm really excited for. Um, I think I'm going to have like a little twist to it. Mm-hmm. So um, I feel like um, I'm prepared for next week, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, well, before we go, tell everyone your social media handle so they can figure out where to follow you because you have this insane makeup tonight, last yeah. week beauty face, and I think you probably have some awesome pictures that people will want to check out. Thank you. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at lemon underscore LaCroix. Thank All you. All right. Lemon <laughs> LaCroix, everyone. I am sitting here with Lavish, who nearly won tonight. Top two. Thank How do you feel? You. I feel incredible. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so surreal. Love yes. it. Everyone was talking about your makeup all night too, so. I, you know, tried something new, tried something out there, and I'm really, like, super happy with how it turned out. Yeah. yeah. Brows, who needs them? Yeah. 
She gone. <laughs> so what was it about your performance tonight that kind of like really put you above and beyond? Um, I, I think I like just put myself out there a little bit, like something out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, I really just wanted to focus on like energy and confidence and just like working the crowd because that was kind of something they talked about last week. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just really just going for it. Thinking about next week's challenge, 80s and 90s, do you have any ideas that come to mind or are you kind of still working it out? I have a few ideas, maybe like some, you know, R&B and house, mm -hmm. definitely like yeah. 90s vibes there, but I'll have to like listen to my library and just see what yeah, jumps out to totally. me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> All right, well, I'm really happy for you and I cannot wait to see what you do next week. You want to tell them your social media? Yeah, it's uh, Instagram's so underscore lavish. Easy peasy. Love it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Tonight, I am sitting with Adriana Fanta, the winner. Ooh. Yes. How do you feel? I feel amazing. This is my first win. If y'all don't know, I was in the last season. No wins, bitch. But this season, she got to win. Yeah, actually, when you said that to me earlier, your first one, I, I didn't realize that you had never won last season. No. But But also, you had things kind of rigged against you with yes. just having moved here. Yes, yes. So. It was a fight, Mama. It was a fight. But yeah. I got a little fan base. I still some of y'all's friends. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They're not my friends. 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 Well, I can say, for oh. one, my friends do love you, so... But, yeah, yeah, you, had, you deserve your people it. People so. were so sweet. Yes, you deserve it. Thank you. So, uh, how do you heel. feel about your performance, and what do you think? Actually, I broke a heel last season too, like during my performance, and I, th you just went for it. You still went for it. It didn't Bitch. matter. I was like, literally, if you look, I'm on my tippy toes that entire. <laughs> I'm like, do do like that, 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 that. but because my literally my my heel was like this. Yeah. Dedication. <laughs> like a claw. Dedication. Yes, I remember when yours actually broke. I remember that. You still turned it out too, bitch. It's rough, but you got to. That's how it is. When you're jumping around, those heels are not made to be jumped around in, but they're really not. Yeah, mine was from Fashion Nova. So. Yeah, Lola gets to wear flats. Everyone else has to wear heels, but <laughs> she got her cha cha heels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smart queen. Yes, she is. All right, so uh, tell me, Adriana, what was it you think about your performance tonight that kind of uh, stepped it up and and put you into that? winning category yeah I really tried to do you know something I really knew that a lot of people were gonna do something like spooky or something like you know very alternative I wanted to stay true to myself and do something that I knew I could do well which so I did you know something funny and added all like you know my dancing all my like tricks and because I mean I know what I'm good at so I wanted to bring that and because this this season I want to set my up and win yeah. So, you know, I would, last season I really felt like I was trying to do what I thought would make the judges happy and make other people happy. This season I'm really trying to do do me, do what I know that I'm good at and do it really well. I love the idea that you're, uh, you kind of did all of you tonight. Like the, the humor, the dancing, the like that like star quality you have. Um, and that is kind of what it takes to, to win. Yeah, yeah. I gave it, I gave it all I could and it paid off. I'm very happy. Um, all these queens are they're so good so you know I feel I feel good like it's gonna be a good season yeah it's I'm proud be, of you sis thank, yeah. thank you yeah. I see the <laughs> one queens I love you uh, so much we can't wait to see what she does next week throw up those oh oh and just oh and we got those something something yeah oh Adriana Fanta branding branding girl she yeah. on brand <laughs> available <laughs> soon on her website I assume Adriana. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. She put him on in a mirror like Karen from Mean Girls. Give her a break. <laughs> Give me a break, okay? Let's put a rough diet. She's the winner. I'm a winner, She's baby. She's the winner, baby. Adriana Fonto. All right, so last week, Homegirl could not be with us. Oh, sorry. All right. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, last week, my sis over here could not be with us. She was on a cruise in the Bahamas, which is so sick. I'm so jealous. How was that? It was great. It was so much fun. Honestly, it was probably uh, one of my best experiences I've ever had in drag and out of drag. It was like life changing, honestly. Like, um, I'm very like insecure about life. So like being on this cruise, it was like the complete opposite where it was like, I felt so loved in and out of drag. So it was very like, you're worthy. So it was like, oh my God, people love me. So it was fun, it was fun, it was fun. Okay, well, I think you have a very, uh, misconceived notion of yourself because I think everyone loves you. I love you, and I think you're sick, man. Anyway, we're glad you're back and glad to have you this week. 
um, you always bring a huge presence and energy, in my opinion, and something's missing without you. Um, so tonight, being your first night of the season two, what do you think of the competition and who do you think kind of stood out the most to? So watching the first season, obviously, hosting it was a lot of different. It was really different because we had to like figure out like the way we wanted to judge it because a, a lot of people had opinions on Facebook <laughs> that they could have privately messaged me, but they decided to post it on Facebook. But we're not going to talk about that. No. But um, I felt like we, we for this season, we fixed a lot of the Tron error. And I feel like with this season now, being my first week here, um, I feel like the standout, that's hard because there's a lot. I feel like with this season, there's a lot of sex symbol. There's a lot of queens that are like fucking hot in and out of drag and just like in drag where they're like, Bitch, I'm going to fucking sell it, girl. And it's, like, very that, <laughs> and I love it. But I feel like right now my standout is Mayori. Mayori right, Beverly yeah. Hills is, like, bitch. If she's a top bitch, I'm down. If she's a bottom bitch, I'm down. <laughs> if she's birth, if she's birth bitch, bitch, I'm down, girl. But I feel like she's very, like, that girl. Mm -hmm. And also, with this season, there's a lot of um, new girls. There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of controversy oh. in the airwaves, which I'm really excited because I feel like this season, a lot of bitches have a lot of shit to say, but they're being real quiet right now, but I cannot wait. And I'm glad this is getting recorded because, bitch, I am ready. I am ready to fight. <laughs> I mean, I, don't I, fight. Do, I, don't fight. I do low-key live for the shade, even though all the drama, even though I, I try to act like I don't care, but I do love the drama. Me too. I, I I love good drama. Yeah. I love where it's like, bitch, you ain't shit. But I hate where it's like, so there's this queen that I don't like, but I'm not going to say. Same. Like, that. that's not drama. That's Everybody like. Knows her name. No, no, no. Yeah. Like, T is when you're like, there's this girl that is competing at the river for season two, and her hairline is real bad. Like, that, that, like that's T, bitch. If you're going to read a bitch, read a bitch but I'm excited I'm excited for the season I just hope everyone brings their a game and my biggest thing is like if someone gets eliminated I would hate for them to be like oh they didn't see the real me bitch I right. want if you go home because you were the real you then you went home 100% yeah so it's like if you're gonna go home and if you're not if you're not your authentic self then that's you mm -hmm. but it's like I, I want everyone to feel comfortable enough to do the competition. Yeah. And I feel like with this season, they are. How do I look? We can't see you, so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mad I didn't vote for her. <laughs> All right, here we are with hopefully no double chins this week <laughs> with our judges, Clairvoyant. Hi. And St. Mark's. Hi. We are missing Gina Bell. She had to run to her new gig um, called at Splash, Chicago. at Splash Chicago called Late Night with Gina. Yes, it's an interview series and it's going to be good because the bitch is funny. She's just funny. Like everything she says is funny. So. She looks funny too. You should have seen her tonight <laughs> judging the competition like the faces. She had snippets for everything. <laughs> yeah. everything. Yes. No! <laughs> so, Claire, this is your first yeah. time here, yes. this season anyway. Uh, who did you think kind of stood out the most? Ooh. Um, oh, Jesus. Let me think about that. Can you go to Marco for that St. one? St. Mark's? Well, I know you already said this last week, but tonight. So, I cannot remember what I said last week because I was a little drunk. So, this is going to be me redeeming myself a bit. I'm not going to uh, talk in long tangents. Um, or mess up my words. So tonight, my standout was probably Kenya. If I said that last week, I agree again this week because she is surprising me. I really didn't expect her to go that route. I, I, I always pictured her as like a super like stunty, sexy, glamour queen. And, and tonight she was like, no, I'm gonna be green. Um, so she did green face. Ah. And then... Um, <laughs> Super offensive. And um, um, she opened with this insanely ugly fur coat. Um, and 
told that this one. kind of story. It was that one. And then she ripped it off into this like dark, like I'm kind of a soldier, but I'm sexy, but I lost all my hair. <laughs> uh, it was hot. It was zombie esque. I was here for it. Yeah, you know. Um, okay, so I think that everyone. Everyone had, like, standout moments, whether it was the runway, whether it was the performance, whether it was the lip sync at the end. Like, everyone had, like, a really great moment, which was, I think, like, one of the best parts of this show and, like, this episode, you could say. Um, But I'm going to have to agree with Marco and say that Kenya was mind-blowing. Her initial runway was really incredible, and then her performance was just incredibly thought out. The storyline was totally right. Um, We knew how her world ended. It ended in, like, biological warfare. There was, like, radioactivity involved. But she was also, like, in the army, and she was obviously, like, fighting against it. And it was just very visible in the way that she looked, and she had very high-energy numbers and really connected to the audience. And overall, it was just really well thought out and really well executed. Okay, Kenya, getting some praise tonight. Don't get a big head. Bring it next week, too. But, um... What? On time. Oh, yeah. was that an issue? Okay, well, on time, girl. <laughs> we had issues with that last season, too. So We did. We did. All right, so what is next week's theme? Next week's theme is 80s and 90s. 80s and 90s, okay. And I want to know what you guys are looking for next week. I know you won't be here, Claire, but I still want to know what you, what you want to see. I think one of the coolest things about at least this theme is that You know, like, big alternative themes really allow people to step outside their comfort zone and kind of do something a little bit different. Um, And so I kind of want to see that again next week. Like, you know, Synthetic was, like, obviously kind of had an upper hand, I think, being a little bit more alternative this week. But now, you know, like, Synthetic has to be a little bit more mainstream next week. So I kind of want to see people step outside their comfort zone a little bit more. Um, And I want to see, like, you know, 80s and 90s, a lot of us have kind of lived through it. We've all experienced it. I kind of want to see relatable content. The first thing that came to my mind was Friends, for some reason. Like, I would love to see kind of, like, a friend performance. I think that would be really fun. I think everyone would really love it and really relate to it. Um, But, like, I... I don't know. I think it'll be. I think it'll be really cute. Whatever that people do. I agree. Marco. Um. Yeah. So I think with the themes and with the challenges, it's like we in this competition. It is about being yourself, but it's absolutely at the end of the day a challenge, and it's about you bringing us something that maybe you haven't done before. It's about pushing yourself more than anything. Um, so next week, I personally don't want to see like the like tired and boring things that you think of immediately when you think of 80s and 90s i want to see a little bit of thought put into a little bit of research i want it to make sense i mean don't just pick a song and put on an acid wash denim jacket although i do love those um because that tells me like you thought about it for maybe 30 minutes i want to see someone want to win would you be upset by someone doing the jesse spano i'm so excited i'm so scared montage because i would definitely want to include that Personally, but I'm in a blink because I have no idea what the f- that is. Oh, am I old or maybe I'm old? Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you to our judges tonight. Uh, Gina Bell is missing and she would have been epic, but just imagine enormous hair that can't fit in the frame and, and you got the idea. So, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll see thank you next you. week. Claire, you were an amazing guest judge. Thank you. I was so excited to be here. This week, the queen who went home was Flaviana Fuego, and I didn't get to interview her again because, unfortunately, she actually got, well, fortunately for her, she got a booking at Hydrate, nope, at Progress, right? No, I think <laughs> I think it was Splash. At Splash. Oh, yes. She got a uh, booking with Gina Bell at Splash right after this, so good for her, bad for us. And but she had to redeem herself. So oh, yeah. if she did good, then she would get paid. If she, they didn't like it, then she wouldn't get paid. Wait, really? Yeah, I think that was the thing. Well, let's pretend that it is. Oh. No, I think that's what it was because they said they got to redeem yourself for it to be paid. Okay. Um. Or just leave it at that. And you got to redeem yourself to be paid. So. <laughs> I don't know.